Hello everybody, and I know I haven't done a video in quite some time, um, but welcome. Uh, this is going to be gaming oriented. As you can see, I'm in the middle of a video game right now, and I'm just jumping around about to do a quest line. Um, I'm on the fast track server of my one of my favorite games, Aeon or Ion, A I O N, however you want to say it. Doesn't really bother me, um, but I'm on the fast track server playing on my cleric, and my friend Will tagged me in a 15 question um, thing about video games. So I'm going to try and answer all of that. Uh, while playing a video game, hopefully this doesn't come across too random and I don't get too distracted playing it. If you like the content that I'm showing you right now, um, hit that like button, leave me a comment, tell me what you guys think. Um, you know, I can always do more videos on Aeon and, um, yeah. Uh, but let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, just taking some quests here. But uh, how old were you when you first started playing video games? Um, I first started playing video games when I was just a baby. My parents got us, uh, I mean, I think it was like two years after the original NES came to America. And... Um, like, I remember getting Super Mario 3. That was my very first game. And I played the ever-loving crap out of it. I loved Super Mario so much that um, I became an expert on just beating the levels so quickly. Now, this was before speedrunning was available. And... Um, yeah, it, it's not all the best uh, when it came to, or at least I didn't, I didn't, you know, beat it so fast. But I mean, I haven't played Super Mario three in like ten years. <laughs> like I haven't played it in so long. I've been playing mostly MMOs and things. But uh, here's the next question: What is it about video games that you love? A challenge. I love a challenge. Um, I love going into areas I'm not supposed to. And, um, you know, just killing things. And, you know, I also like the, you know, fear aspect of certain games like, you know, the Resident Evil series. Though, you lose that fear aspect a little bit with some of the controls, but you get it back because you don't really know what's going to happen. Um, uh, what is this? Sorry, that's inside Fire Temple. I'm just running around killing things and showing you guys a certain part of the game. Um, can violent and graphic games be a bad influence on people? No. I am going to say no because I love graphic and violent video games. I love that aspect. I, you know, I love GTA. I love, you know, hardcore, gory video games. I mean, when um, Grand Theft Auto came out, not Grand Theft Auto, when God of War came out, it was supposed to be one of the literally goriest games. And there were supposed to be genitalia, there were supposed to be, you know, really, really provocative gameplay, and they got censored. And I didn't really like that, but I can understand why. Um, let's see. PC or console? Um, I am gonna be like really straightforward. I'm a PC gamer, but I do have consoles. I do enjoy some of the exclusive content um, that is on, ex uh, on consoles. Um, though I really wish that they would bring some mainstream 
um, content to PCs and not have to wait like three or four years for it to you know come out, AKA Grand Theft Auto. That should have been, been an immediate release to PC and not make us wait 50 billion years for it. Um, but I'm just bitching as a console person. Um, do you watch Let's Players on YouTube? And if so, who? Um, I'm going to be totally honest. I watch a lot of Let's Plays. Um, I've been wanting to get into the game gaming industry for a long time. Um, I've applied for quite a bit of jobs in the gaming industry, but unfortunately I haven't really got anywhere. Um, I have a graphics design uh, degree and a gaming design degree. Um, uh, so it's kind of uh, a pain in the butt to get a job in this industry when all they're looking for is young, fresh talent and you're not young anymore. You know, but I, uh, I watch mostly, uh, I've got like 15, 16 different channels that I watch. I watch the will of gaming. Uh, I watch achievement hunter. I watch, oh, good Lord. I watch a lot of people on Twitch though. Um, Brown man who was a part of achievement hunter is now, um, a new Twitch, or not a new, but he has been doing it for a while and uh, now, and uh, I watch him, uh, let's see, uh, there's a couple of other people that I can't really name right now because I'm bad with, with names, but I have them all saved somewhere. I'll probably put their links in the description um, of this video whenever I get done with it. Um, Let's see. If you watch Let's Players, do you have a favorite? Yes, I actually love the uh, Cheap and Hunter videos. Um, uh, they do quite a bit. I watch The Will of Gaming. He's done some. Um, let's see. Um, his friend Lynn, um, who I subscribe to, she does some really cool stuff um, every now and then. And I just. I love watching video games. I love everything that there is to know about video games. Like, quiz me. I will tell you things. Um, let's see. What is your favorite genre of video games? Fantasy. I love fantasy. This is uh, the game that I'm currently playing is fantasy. It is a Korean RPG. So if oop, <laughs> I just put the camera where it didn't need to be. Oh, I got keyed for Fire Temple. If anybody's ever played Aeon from before, I think it was like 1.0, that key took weeks to get. <laughs> but I just got keyed for it, so, but I don't actually need it anymore. Um, but I, I love fantasy. I love um, random games. Uh, let me go ahead and take you guys to Sanctum. I really need to do something else besides, you know, dicking around at uh, Fire Temple. <laughs> I really shouldn't swear, though. But, um, yeah, uh, I love fantasy. I love horror. I love adventure. Um, there's a lot of games out there that just, that are really, really good. Dragon Age Inquisition, um, which I'm sort of playing, sort of not playing. Um, because, uh, I don't actually have the game. I'm borrowing my brother's account and I play it on offline mode so that I can actually enjoy it. So, um, but, uh, if you guys can see this, this is just Sanctum. I'm just running around going to the teleport person. And, uh, let's see, let's see, uh, number eight. Uh, are you an old school gamer or did you get, uh, or do you like getting the newest consoles? Unfortunately, I would Easy love to get the newest, latest and greatest consoles like the PS4, the Xbox One, the Wii U, but I am broke. <laughs> I, um, I think it was a year uh, and six months after the uh, PS3 had come out when I finally got my first PS3, 
um, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but I do wish I could get and play some of the new consoles. I also wish I had a 3DS because a lot of my friends who I Skype with on a daily basis um, all have 3DSs and unfortunately I don't. So I don't even get to play the handheld consoles which kind of irritate me a little bit. Um, but yeah. Uh, the next question is Nintendo or Sega? Um, I'm gonna go with Nintendo. They I mean, I love Sega. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. I, I love what they've done. And I just wish that Sega just didn't crap out. Um, I kind of wish that they fought a little bit more, did a little bit more. But uh, then there's Nintendo. And Nintendo, back in the day, a little bit of fun fact history for you probably put a like graphic or something in there but a fun fact his history for you guys uh nintendo brought back the gaming industry from death i mean there was this game called et the extraterrestrial and i think it was like a year ago that they not even a year ago like six seven months ago that they started digging out in the area where they supposedly had buried a whole bunch of the video games they were still in the wrappers that i mean they had like eight weeks of production on this video game and it was supposed to look like the movie which i dreadfully hate that movie um but it was supposed to be about the movie and it looked nothing like um the movie whatsoever and there was no map it just it made no sense and um it it brought upon uh, the the death of the gaming industry as we knew it and um nintendo brought it back with their you know home entertainment system and i'm happy for that um but at the same time, I'm also going, why? Um, why hasn't Nintendo stepped it up, you know? Because you've got companies like Sony and Microsoft who are, you know, next-gen titles. And though Sony is kind of beating Microsoft right now with graphics, performance, th that sort of thing, um... Xbox sort of has that stability, but Nintendo's in the back corner, you know, like huffing glue. And I'm just like, get your your stuff together, Microsoft. Like, come on, get it together. Ooh, I really shouldn't be here. Oh, look at that, level 44s. Okay, um... Um, favorite and least favorite video game character. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be Sonic the Hedgehog, only because, uh, and I know Will, you're probably gonna be like, oh my god, it's Sonic, why are you hating on Sonic? I'm just like, um, I hate what they did with his games, and I hate what he, they've done to him currently. Uh, they gave him a new, fresh skin, and, um, I don't like it. Um, he looks too tall and skinny. And I just, nah, just doesn't look right. Um, but my favorite, uh, video game character, oh, I don't, I don't even know. It would probably be Kratos, I'm going to probably say, because he's like one of those big burly dudes that's not going to take nothing from nobody. And I mean, I, I, I really like it. Da -da 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 -da. Wow, I'm just like really glitching out there. Oh, this is so much fun. Um, let's see. 
Are you a Let's player? And if yes, what influence do you make in the gaming community? Unfortunately, I do not do Let's Plays. Um, I do not have an Elgato capture card for the consoles that I do have. And the games that I do have are ancient. <laughs> There, there is one uh, game that I would love to do a playthrough for, um, but it's the bane of most game players. It's the Star Ocean uh, series, uh, the Star Ocean Last Hope International. Um, there's, there's one thing I'm going to tell you guys that I absolutely hate in the gaming community. It's when developers lock their saves. Now, I am known um, to do horrible, horrible things to my games, and that is um, load them up with nothing but extra saves. Like, oh, walk 10 feet, another save. You know, I'm, I'm one of those. Like, if I miss something, I need to go way back and fix it and redo everything. I'm, I'm one of those 100% completionist people. Um, and Star Ocean, th this game, this Star Ocean game will push your buttons. <laughs> it is an evil, evil, evil game and uh, should not be saved block. Trice, I'm watching you. Uh, let's see. Um, video favorite video game soundtrack, I'm going to have to say the Dragon Age series. I absolutely love the music out of Dragon Age. I absolutely love it. I think it's um, just so beautiful. But then there's also the Final Fantasy series, which I really love too. Um, now, what you guys are seeing me do right now, and I'm sorry for like cutting my own self off, but I'm just running around Hyren which um, I'm unlocking the map because um, I'd have to go into an instance right now and I don't feel like like struggling through the instance by myself. So I'm just running around the map and um, opening it for myself. Um, let's see. Uh, any game recommendations? I actually would recommend this game. Oops. I would recommend this game, Star Ocean, The Last Hope International, but I would actually recommend it on the Xbox versus the PlayStation because um, it's not safe locked on the Xbox. Uh, or if it is, you can still remove the data, put it on a portable hard drive and continue on from there because I think you get like 250 save slots and about five hours into the game, um, not five hours, but like chapter like two or three, I've used like 110. Um, I'm a terrible, terrible save person. Like I have a 250 gigabyte hard drive in my PlayStation and it's always traveler. full. Like always, always Hope full. To see you again sometime. Um, <clears throat> here's, here's one of my favorite questions. Uh, if you could be a character from any game, who would you choose and why? And I really can't answer this because there's so many games. Like, I'm going to, like, pause the video here for just a second, grab a couple of games, and be, like, give you guys a couple of examples. Alright, sorry about that. Um... <sighs> Here we go. Um, if you could be a character from any game, who would you choose and why? And I've got a couple of games here that I really, really like. One of my favorite games is the Infamous series. Um, now, I don't have a PS4, but um, my friend Will, who has played the new Infamous game, Truthfully, I want to just be all like, I want to play with him or just like steal his console and borrow his game and be all like, Mwah. but yeah, um, I know I'm not playing, you know, the game right now, but, um, I would love to be not the main character, but a person with 
these type of powers, electricity or flame or ice or telekinetic or light or darkness, you know, really, really awesome. Um, really like this. I, I'm not too sure if I would want to always be in this universe or then you've got the Ratchet and Clank series, which I love that universe. But again, I wouldn't want to be the main character. I kind of want to be a side character because this, this for a little marsupial gets into some hairy ass stuff. <laughs> he is blowing stuff up, killing people, you know, I'd rather be like a gadget of his, like an intelligent person, sort of like uh, Clank, except for like a sub character. Um, then you've got, you know, like Nino Cooney, Wrath of the White Witch. I mean, I kind of want to be the main character in this one because you get to meet people, interact with things, you know, use magic but sort of limited. Um, I'm hoping for a sequel to this. Come on, people. Um, but then there's the universe of Star Wars. And I just pulled up Star Wars Force Unleashed. Um, this, this, this title, um, I would want to be a Jedi. Like, there was a post on Facebook earlier. They're like, Hogwarts, Pokemon, you know, Jedi universe, what would you choose? And I'm like, I'm stuck between Hogwarts and Jedi because, I mean, it'd be kind of cool to control the force, move things, interact with things, you know, have a lightsaber. That, that would just be cool. But then the ultimate universe, which I'm probably going to get some flack for, is the Kingdom Hearts universe. And I wouldn't want to be the main character because um, there's some stuff going on with that, with the Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, but I would want to be a Keyblade wielder. I think that that would be really, really cool um, to go to these, these different worlds, go to the Disney worlds, go to the Final Fantasy worlds, or a jumble up of them and interact with them because I really, really love Disney. I actually love Disney. I, I really cannot wait. Like that'd be the only reason I buy a PS4, um, is for Kingdom Hearts 3, really. Unless, unless that they release Kingdom Hearts 3 to PC. And in which case there'll be no reason for me to get a PS4, really. I mean, so... But those are my answers. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Um, but the, the last question is, is who do I tag? And I tag my viewers. If you watch this video and you enjoyed this video, tell me what you, t t just tag you yourself, tag your friends, tag whoever you want to. And, um, you know, have fun with this. Tell us about your gaming experiences. Tell us, you know, what you love about video games. That's what this is getting, you know, about. And um, that's who I tag. I tag my followers. I tag the people who watch this video, um, if anybody watches this video. Um, so have fun, you guys. Enjoy today. And I will see you all hopefully later on. Um, maybe I'll do another video sometime soon. And I'll have fun. Bye, everybody.